Okay, it's New Year's Day. Taking the dogs for a walk, huh, buddy? Oh, Got to give them some exercise. Got a little bit of snow today. Not too cold out, though, is it? Not bad. Oh. Well, living uh, 30 yards from your shop is a blessing and a curse um, for various reasons, but one nice thing is it lets you wear PJs out in the shop. <laughs> so uh, I'm out here, it's, I don't know, <clears throat> quarter after nine or something. Um, and just got home, both boys started uh, wrestling this year. Wrestling's big in both mine and Ashley's families. Uh, you know, we have a big wrestling background, so both boys decided they wanted to do it this year, which is cool, um, and they're enjoying it, so it's exciting. So they had wrestling practice tonight. I'm uh, loading up uh, just one machine to run overnight tonight, and uh, tomorrow is January 2nd, and I am back in the shop, uh, you know, back to regular work days, which would be kind of nice to get back into a routine, so I uh, had a lot of good <clears throat> or had a lot of orders um, over the holidays and had a great December already starting out uh, January pretty well so um, yeah I'm uh, just gonna keep uh, keep grinding keep getting orders out we appreciate the support so uh, yeah I'm gonna close down shop for the night and we'll uh, see you tomorrow good morning it is uh, Tuesday morning here it's January 2nd um, I'm getting a little bit of a late start getting out to the shop today, um, but I've been working on some computer stuff <coughs> here uh, in the house. I find that I do my best kind of thinking or higher level uh, tasks in the morning, so I try to get those done before I get out to the shop and get kind of inundated with running machines and just putting out fires. Um, so what I'm working on here this morning is I do what's called a, a, a brain dump, right? Usually in the morning I have my coffee, I get in a shower, I do a lot of thinking, a lot of stuff goes through my head. Um, so what I try to do is try to get all of that out on, uh, well I say paper, but on my iPad, um, just to get it out of my head, get it somewhere in writing, um, and, and that helps me. 90% of it is probably stuff I don't need to follow through on or, or want to follow through on or will follow through on, but the other 10%, uh, at least I don't forget about it. So if you look here, I just use my iPad and a program called Good Notes. Dogs are going crazy. Uh, it's just called Good Notes, and use my Apple Pencil here, um, and I do what's called a, a brain dump, right? And I just get anything out of my head that's in my head, because um, like sometimes I get overwhelmed. Um, and I'll continue this throughout the day if I'm working on a machine and just, you know, thinking about something um, that I can't really act on at that time. I'll just get this out, write it down real quick so I can come back to it. Um, if it has any validity, I'll follow through on it. If not, I'll just move about my day, but this at least gets my head a little bit clear. So another uh, morning ritual of mine is my coffee. Um, I do this every morning. I actually don't eat breakfast typically, um, but this kind of takes the place of that. So all this goes into my coffee. I've got coconut oil, uh, which is healthy fats, MCT oil, uh, clarified ghee butter for healthy fats, collagen peptides, <clears throat> cinnamon. So cinnamon actually has quite a few health benefits anti-inflammatory helps regulate blood sugar things like that so cinnamon is actually really good for you um, and half and half so all this goes into my coffee uh, I blend it up and that's pretty much what I sip on uh, throughout the morning um, the healthy fats kind of keep you full and I don't really get hungry until lunchtime um, so this is just my routine it works pretty well for me so I've added a scoop of all that stuff in there and I just take my little ham blender blend it up I don't want to overflow it. That's it. Ready to go. All right, so I'm out here in the shop. Um, of course, the joys of owning a machine shop. This machine uh, was off for a few days, and now try powered on. Fourth axis rotary brake release failure. I think what that means is the uh, there's a like a solenoid, like a break in here that's air actuated. Um, I think it's just gummed up and stuck, so I get to deal with that. Over here, <clears throat> just want to turn the Sagami on, the lathe, and coolant should come out of these 
out of the turret here. Right, so if I hit uh, M54, now when I hit start, there should be coolant coming out of that right now. But, of course, there's not. Uh, what happens with this pump sometimes is it gets airlocked or this, there's a filter on the bottom that gets clogged. So, if you look here, this is the pump and there should be coolant flowing up this line here and there's not. So it's either airlocked or there's a filter on the bottom down here and that's clogged. So I get to tear into that too. So again, uh, happy first of the year. This is kind of the trials and tribulations of owning a shop. Not everything always uh, goes swimmingly. So I'm gonna tear into this see what we can find out. All right, so I've pulled the filter for the uh, turret coolant out here and it looks pretty dirty. So I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up and see if that fixes my problem. Also, you can see this is the coolant tank. So you see how the top looks uh, kind of yellowish. That's actually oil. This machine uses uh, whey oil to lubricate all the axes, all the, all the slides and things. Um, so what happens is the oil ends up getting into the coolant tank and the oil sits on top. What I need to do, um, what I'll do is I'll run, this is a, a oil separator. So you pump the coolant up through here, the oil stays on top, and then what ends up happening is the coolant comes up right here, over here, flows back down. So your oil gets left in, the, in here, coolant goes back in. And I try to run this <clears throat> occasionally um, because if you let oil sit on top, then the air can't get to the coolant and you end up getting starting to get like bacteria and things growing in your coolant. Um, so it's important to keep the oil out of your sump here um, and, and occasionally, you know, run this oil separator. All right, so solve one of my problems. Uh, fix this Haas machine. Um, so I'll show you what I did here. This is the fourth axis that the brake was stuck on. This is what rotates um, the tombstone and everything. So, like I said, it has a just an air actuated brake in it, and it occasionally gets gummed up. Now, what I did was I just pulled this fitting off of here, and this is just uh, air release where the air can come out when the brake releases. I pulled this fitting off, and I just put a couple drops of air tool oil down into here, and a couple drops into here put it back together then I kind of turn the air on purge the air turn the air on purge the air to kind of work some of that oil through that brake and now we're uh, we're good to go so uh, crisis number one averted all right so I had a few other things to work on today um, I'm probably back to this issue it turns out it wasn't that filter um, I did clean that which needed cleaned anyways um, so it runs, coolant runs up here into the pump, out, and then it ends up running through this filter. Took it off, this filter was pretty gross. Um, I cleaned it, put this back on, still didn't fix the problem. Uh, what happened was, and this, this has happened once before, is the actual system was airlocked. So what I did was I took this lid off of this filter housing, took the filter out, left it open, and actually ran the coolant pump for a couple of seconds to you know, prime the lines, prime this housing. And as soon as I, after I did that, I stopped it, put this back on, and now uh, now we're, we're back in business. So if you look, this is what is supposed to happen. You see the coolant coming out of the turret now. So uh, now we're back to running handles. All right, so. Machines are all running out there. It's about six o'clock at night. Um, Ashley and the boys are up at her parents. Uh, we're gonna eat dinner up there, so I'm getting ready to walk up, walk up the hill to, to her parents' house with the dogs here and uh, get some dinner. And then the kids are back to school tomorrow, so hopefully early bedtime for them. Ashley's getting a late night workout in after the boys go to bed.